All right, you know, uh, I don't know whether the viewers at home can ex could actually hear the fan opening and closing. I think that one they can hear. Mm -hmm. But what they, I don't think so they can't hear is how they actually synchronise their steps yes. as they actually step on that platform. Mm -hmm. Everything is just so synchronised. Fantastic. Now, the person behind it all, of course, we're going to talk to the person right now. He is the Deputy Director General of uh, Culture and Arts from the National Departments for Culture and Arts. Please welcome Rosna Nordin. Sir, you, you just witnessed something that's actually so incredible. Are you actually happy, proud of them? Yeah, yeah. It's a part of uh, preservation for culture and art. Right, right. It started from the uh, beginning. Right. Mm. So the preservation of culture and arts is actually very important. Like what was mentioned uh, by our Minister of uh, Motec also as well. He mm -hmm. said that we just shouldn't just highlight and emphasize on tourism, but culture and arts. Definitely, yeah, right. of course. Yeah. Culture and arts uh, also come hand in hand, actually, if you think about it. And what we've just witnessed is not just a normal dance. Mm -hmm. It's actually bringing a lot of culture, music, mm -hmm. arts from all over places even. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are actually here to talk mainly about a Malaysian's, a Malaysian Children's Dance Championship 2022. That's what we're actually here to talk about. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Mr. Rosna, I have to ask you, um, the performance that we just witnessed from this group, are they competing in this uh, yeah. championship? They were part of the competing of this championship. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, so, I would actually want to ask because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but when it comes to dance, when it comes to culture, when it comes to arts, it reflects people as well, right? How they interpret how these uh, wonderful things are happening. Um, the fan dance, and of course, the nice little budget and all going on. There's actually that uh, Chinese element in it as yeah, well. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, and um, why is that so? And how did this uh, incorporate it in this wonderful uh, routine? Uh, because, uh, currently, it's, uh, because uh, fan dance is a part of the Chinese community. Uh, yeah. and, then, and then our culture, our dance, especially is a mix from another country. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We mix from Indian, we mix from Chinese, also we mix from Indonesian. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a part of the beauty of the culture. Right. Uh, mm, yeah, I love that. Because <laughs> there, there is a unity. Right, right, right. Mm. Ah, Even I was wondering about it. You know, we have a fan, but the outfit doesn't sync with it. But yes, then correct. again, the dance brought it all together. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I really enjoyed the show. But of course, uh, Mr. Rosan, coming back to this, uh, we want to talk about a Malaysian Children's Malaysian. Dance Championship 2022. Yeah. Can you please tell us a little about it? Okay, uh, Malaysian Children Dance Championship 2022 mm -hmm. uh, is a program to uh, unearth the understanding talent of students in the fields mm -hmm. of the dance under the supervision of the state JKKN. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a 14 state around uh, right, right. Malaysia. Yep. Uh, the concept of the program is the form of the competition. It's mm -hmm. a form of competition mm -hmm. involving, involving the excellent art coaching group, KBSC, mm -hmm. just now uh, you're looking, mm -hmm. which is an excellent group in the field dance under the supervision of the state JKKN. Mm -hmm. This program will be held on, uh, on 70 to 18 December to 2020 at Istana Budaya, mm -hmm. Kuala Lumpur, starting 8:30 p.m. Mm -hmm. This program is implemented together with the Malaysian Dance Festival 2022. Wow, mm. Eris, you got to go for this <laughs> dance <laughs> festival. Me, yeah. I, I'm, I'm there, but I'll be an audience. <laughs> but the thing is, right, uh, sir, can actually can the public actually go online right now and purchase tickets? How do they yeah. do that actually? They can online through by online by enjoy. Um, um, but say, uh, cloud enjoy, uh -huh. cloud okay. enjoy, W W cloud enjoy. They can they can also buy uh, buy the ticket by online through if they don't they don't not around in Malaysia in uh -huh. Sabah and Sarawak they can also can see uh -huh. through the uh, uh, our website. Uh -huh. But they might they might, they might must pay the ticket. Ah uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. But for Istana Budaya, uh -huh. uh, they can book through online also by. Cloud enjoy. Okay, guys. So if you want to watch it, you can actually purchase the tickets. Okay, so please go ahead and purchase if you want to actually check out this wonderful. Uh, to end your new year, lah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think this is a great way to end your new year. No, not end the new year. Oh, sorry, end the end year. The year. <laughs> end what am I saying? <laughs> end, end the year. year and also to um, celebrate the new year yeah, as well right, with yeah. your friends and family. Correct. Make sure to go on head on to Istana Budaya with the dates that uh, Mr. Roslan has shared with you guys. Book mm -hmm. your tickets. And but uh, coming back to this championship, I actually want to know. What what is the purpose of this? Like, why hmm. is there a sudden? Um, I, I think it's not sudden, it's but not, it's, it's just yeah. that I've not heard about this. I've definitely not heard about this. Ooh. You know, we coming on this show, we learn a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Definitely, we learn a lot. So, uh, Mr. Rosa, can you please tell us what is the objective? Like, what is the purpose? Of uh, the purpose of uh, this program to identify the group participant and the trainer among the understanding uh, JKN state culture and art mm -hmm. is the one part. And one thing is a purpose: the generation of the performer in the field of dance. Mm -hmm. In addition, the, our ROI is 
This program is to produce a new creation module for the learning purpose of school students and KBIC. This is one of the pro program to uh, our create our module for dance. Mm -hmm. mm. So how many groups are we talking in total here? Total is a group from uh, because it's selection group. Mm -hmm. We have a fourteen state, but after the elimination, only eight group mm -hmm. the, the, that we identify go to the finals. Mm -hmm. So eight group is uh, around from uh, have a list already. <laughs> okay. So oh, okay. We have a group. Uh, eight group from uh, Prolis, uh -huh. Pinan, All right. Perak, oh, wow. okay. from Malacca just now. Okay. From Pahang, Kelantan, Sabah, and Sarawak. So with these Era groups represent. and all that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so from groups. Para uh, represent. So, para, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. so, so from these groups, right? Uh, uh, definitely the routines are not the same. Yeah. With the budget that they pack, also is definitely Different. not the same. And what they try to highlight is also not the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, the main point is how they create a new creation for the choreography. Uh, is a new one based on the creative part of the choreographer. This choreographer is from our staff. Mm -hmm. Is actually from our coaching from our artist Budaya. Mm -hmm. From they, they be a trainer for uh, this group, and we we want to know how creative are they are mm -hmm. on to create a new creation for new dance. So how young are they when they yeah, come and yeah. join this mm -hmm. group? And you know, if let's say others others are out there watching us live right now, yeah. if they would like to join, yeah. How can they do this and how young, what is the suitable like age, age for them to be? Especially yeah. for, uh, they started from 7 to 17 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, 7 to 17, 17. Erin, what were you doing when you were 7 years old? <laughs> uh, 7 years old? Yes. I think I was in a colouring competition. <laughs> I was dancing. Yeah, that is the way how, how, how we training them for to learning uh, how to dance. <laughs> started from 7 years old, it started from the beginning. Okay. If you go to the Indonesia, they started for, to learn to uh, for dance, especially for their own uh, authentic dance, it started from Five years old. Mm. Thailand also five years old. Isn't wow. that too young? Okay. I mean, actually, it's not no, young. it's not. It's, it's not. an art, cultural art. You play yeah. a piano. You start at age from six, five, six years old. Is it? Young, yeah. Most of them get forced to do it. Ah. <laughs> You started no. playing the piano. You play the piano, okay? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> you learn the piano starting from six years old, I think. Okay. But then again, you know, I've actually, you know, talking about dancers, this is getting getting uh, me a bit excited mm. because I was actually a dancer back in my kindergarten and also wow. I, I danced in school oh, as old, well. Right? At times, six years old. I have been dancing since I was young. I think I was uh, I started when I was five and ah. I've been dancing See? up to I was seventeen <laughs> as well. I, until up to SPM, yeah, that year I did a final dance in my school. So this is really Sorry, interesting. Do you know what but kind of definitely. <laughs> You know, I have to no, 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 no. That was the dances that I did were actually quite okay. It was more modern dancing. It was definitely not this kind of dancing okay, as well. Okay. This is something more revamped and yes. more um more different. But of course, uh, Mr. Rosnan, you know, coming back to the dancers, can you tell us what uh, our audiences or our viewers, those who attend mm -hmm. um this championship, what what kind of dancers can we see from this? Because this uh, because this one is a conjunction also with a uh, 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 Malaysian dance festivals. Mm -hmm. Because Malaysian dance festival also have an involvement of a group also. Right. They're selected from uh, is a professional group. Okay. Uh, this a group is a professional group. Okay. And then it's a conjunction with the children championship. Mm -hmm. Okay. What can we can see is uh, one one thing is uh, you can see uh, how creative are our uh, trainer mm -hmm. to create a new creation mm -hmm. dance, and secondly, the first because they come from all around. From Sabah and Sarawak. Mm -hmm. Sabah unit is because they are authentic dance. Mm -hmm. Sarawak also because the unit is from authentic dance. Some of the of of, of, of a, a participant is from um, uh, Malacca and Pinan. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want to use uh, their own uh, traditional dance. Mm -hmm. Some is their own creative dance. Uh, this is a, mm -hmm. uh, I think it more 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 beauty that uh, audience can select can okay. see. Uh, after that, they can see also with the professional group. Mm -hmm. It's an eight group professional group from whole uh, around Malaysia on, on the final mm -hmm. uh, the final group. Because they perform also, they have a rampayan traditional mm -hmm. and creative dance. Oh. Mm, oh. Wow, okay. So you, you have a choice to select. So we, you, we actually see a lot of mixture yeah. of um, culture as well as um, creative, maybe modern dancing yeah. um, incorporated a bit with the traditional dancing right, as well. Right. That's something really, really interesting because I like mashup of dancing. Yeah, it's a mix. Watching, um, it's well coming into this uh, creative era, I would say, you know, yeah. we watch a lot of dancers, especially on TikTok and so on, um, focusing on a lot of modern dancing. So it's very interesting to see something a bit um, traditional, but more revamped and more modernized a, bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, talking about all this, uh, we're coming back to the competition um, itself, mm -hmm. the championship itself. Um, how are they selected? How was the selection process uh, been like? The selection is uh, based on the preliminary evaluation on, uh, at the state level. 
Okay. Okay. Which the Malaysian children dance music at the state level from August to October 2020. Mm -hmm. They have a 14 state is will be there. Mm -hmm. One state they have a competition around six or seven group for oh, one state. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we only uh, find out the final one. Mm -hmm. The final one is a uh, eight group we, we, uh, selected from uh, each 14 state uh, through by our judge. Uh, the judge is be around mm -hmm. for 14 state. Right. So in only selection, eight group only. Okay. So uh, based on Okay, let's talk about how are they going to be judged upon, right? We have all these judges, the juries and all that. So, in terms of the criteria and the characteristics, talk to us more about that. First is the choreography. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Second is our, um, yeah, what they say? Uh, first, is, first is choreography. Uh -huh. Second is the beauty of uh, costume. Right. And is, uh, the third one is uh, how uh, the creative of the uh, creative parts uh, will be uh, show up through okay. the, this group. So, can we incorporate f food? <laughs> ah. Food. Why? <laughs> Why not? Why? What is our national? Why? What is our national fruit? Durian. What is it? Durian. Papaya. What do you mean? <laughs> Bring papaya. Yeah, it's actually papaya is our national fruit. This the is problem is they don't have a dance of papaya. <laughs> <laughs> we can make one. <laughs> they don't I'm have a dance set, of papaya. We can use it to bang uh, your head with papaya. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, choreograph a routine and then Selang will represent. Oh. No, no, no. oh no no no! I think I think you're kind of hurt here. Selangor doesn't represent ah, because per Perak represent. <laughs> Perak is durian. Selangor is orchid, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> well, why not, right? Put the orchid here, the ears there, and then walk around and dance. Okay, we we know we know if you're looking for a choreographer, we definitely know Brandon is not the person you should. Yeah, yeah. Don't bore your mother. Mr. Roslan agrees with me. it can be a, a traditional. Nah. It be only uh, for children dance. <laughs> yes, it's not the traditional No dance. more traditional really. No. Yes, children dance. Uh. So anyway, um, Mr. Roslan, can you tell us, this is something exciting as well and I'm sure um, those who are, maybe some of our viewers are actually having their kids participating in mm. this. Can you tell mm. us who are the judges for uh, Malaysian Children's Dance Championship 2022? Uh, judges for Malaysian uh, <laughs> Championship Dance 20, uh, 2022 is, um, uh, we have a set, uh, all these professional judges. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have from um, uh, is a Hanafi Rosli. Oh, he's okay. a young, he's a young choreographer. Okay. Uh, Hanafi Rosli, and then uh, we have a two more is uh, we, I think two more is already. We have a, also is a, our, our. They are all professional all, juries. Also professional and jury. Obviously, they are exposed. Okay, we have uh, Hanafi Mama Akamai Ayub is a genius. Mm -hmm. Is a genius dance choreographer. And then we also have uh, Nosya Yatim, is one of the, I think is a part of Toko. Okay. Uh, yeah. She is from Istana Budaya. Right. She started dance, I think, in 1982. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, Istana Budaya. Yeah, she won a bit of Toko because uh, she have a one presentation of, uh, to create a new choreography at times. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a part of uh, our jazz. Nosya Yatim is our jury. Mm -hmm. And then Hanafi and Mr. Mama Akamalayu is the three jury. Okay, big shout out to all these names. Of mm. course, uh, big task, big role coming your way, which is to basically judge. Mm. And right now, <laughs> and Don't right worry, now, we, won't, we won't give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, of course, uh, we got to keep it short and simple because we're going to wrap things up now. But what are your hopes and aspirations organizing this dance championship? Our hope from JK Ken is uh, to produce more child dancer. Ah. This is a preservation. Okay. okay. And excellent in the field of the dance and the choreographer who are talented in the new works. All right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And in addition, all the new creation dance script will be developed to use as a learning modules mm -hmm. for school throughout Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Because we create uh, this module, mm -hmm. and, we, and then this module will be teach to all the school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, sir. Very briefly, mm -hmm. tell them how they can actually buy the tickets. They can buy a ticket through by uh, cloud. Uh, uh, Cloud Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Cloud Enjoy. Uh, they, uh, we still have a ticket. I think it's only ticketing for uh, the ticket price is a uh, hundred uh, ringgit. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, fifty ringgit, and so we have a hundred and twenty ringgit, and we have a golden seat. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Fantastic. So you guys have heard it all. We've also witnessed a, a bit of a teaser for you guys as to what will be coming up in Malaysian Children's Dance Championship 2022. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to today's show. Make sure you guys follow us on our socials, Fresh Brew underscore RTM, to watch as well um, the performance again. Mm -hmm. <laughs>